Good morning. I'm at home right now, as you can tell. Where's the camera? Oh, there we go. Um, what, Charlie? No, Daddy's not going into the office today. So, uh, good morning, friends. I'm at home with the kiddos, getting uh, breakfast ready for Josie. Good morning, Karen. Finishing up the... Josie just got up, so I have to finish my getting her breakfast ready. And good morning, Teresa. And we'll, then we'll uh, get started. Josie, you want to say hi? No. No, you don't want to say hi? Why not? She doesn't want to say hi. You say hi? No. Charlie, you want to say hi? You hi. can't see them, but you say hi? Hi. So, um... Josie has breakfast. We'll see how this goes since there's two kids. Um, I'm on uh, babysitting duty. I know my wife's going to cringe that I called it that because, you know, when you're dead and it's your own children, you're not babysitting. But that's what we'll call it. So uh, good morning for coffee and conversations. I got my Wookiee mug. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get going. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go sit in the other room and hopefully they won't kill each other. Hopefully they will eat their food and, um, be okay. So, uh, what I've been thinking about or what I was, what? Go eat your food. Oh, you want a hug? You say hi. Say good morning. Um, so what I've been thinking about or actually what I was reflecting upon, um, I know that it's not actually babysitting. It's just funny to make people roll their eyes. Um, what I've been thinking about is I was reading in 1 Kings 18 last week. Let me go get my Bible. Um, or not 1 Kings, 2 Kings. So in 2 Kings 18, it says of Hezekiah that he removed the high places and broke the pillars and cut down the Asherah. And he broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses made, for until those days the people of Israel had made offerings to it. It was called Nehush Nehushatan. I totally butchered that. Um, but you know that pass that verse is really interesting. You want to sit with me? Yeah, but okay. did you already get the fish water? No, we haven't done the fish water yet. So, all right. I'm trying to talk to the people. Can, can I talk to the people? So do you want to say hi? We'll do fish hot fish water later. Okay. Hi. So Charlie wants us to change the fish water because we can't add more fish until the water is uh, safe. Fish keeping is way more complicated than they let you on at the pet store. So, okay, back to uh, Second Kings eighteen, verse four. So they uh, they made uh, so. The serpent that they're talking about is a serpent that Moses had made, commanded by God, to uh, lift up and for the people to look at when the serpents came and were killing the people because of their disobedience. So God sent serpents to punish them for their sin. And then after that, uh, he had Moses make a, a bronze serpent to, um, to, if they looked at in faith, they would be healed. And it was this serpent that they would carry around with them. And then anytime someone got bit by a snake, they would uh, look to it and they'd be healed. So this was a good thing that God had given them. It was a good gift from God for them, for their healing. And what I've been thinking about or what I was trying to, or what I've been reflecting upon on this verse is how often do we turn good gifts from God into idols? They were sacrificing to it. They were making offerings to it, which means that, it had become an idol for them. It was no longer a thing pointing them to God, but a thing that they were worshiping themselves. And I've, I've just been thinking about and reflecting upon how many things in our life do we do this with? How many things are good gifts from God that if we're not careful, we can turn into um, idols? You know, you think of being able to provide for your family. That is a good godly desire. But how often does being able to provide for your family become an idol for some people? Being able to uh, provide above and beyond what we have, what we need, how often does that become an idol? A car is a good gift from God, but how often does a car 
become an idol. We have so many things in our lives that if we're not careful, we can allow them to become idols. They're, they are they are intended to be good gifts for us, and yet at the same time, if we're not careful, we can let them become idols. What's wrong? Did you fall and hurt yourself? Yeah. Oh, brother made you fall? Oh, I'm sorry. Go eat your egg. Go eat your breakfast. So, um, and just other things, you know, like health. Health is a good thing, a good gift from God, but if we make that our end goal then it can become an idol. Or uh, think of things like pleasure or entertainment. Those are good things, good gifts from God. Food, you know, God gave us food to eat and he made it taste good. And so uh, that's a good thing, but we can make an idol out of food and then we become gluttonous or various other things. We think of children. Children are good gifts from God. They're, they're a blessing. They're arrows in, in your quiver and they are a gift from the Lord. But how often do we see people make idols out of their children, making them try to uh, maintain a level of life that they hoped for, or they put their kids on a pedestal and want them to become the next NFL superstar or baseball player or whatever. And they end up pushing their children to do these things that are, um, they become idols for them. And so, <laughs> Uh, I've just been reflecting upon all the various things in our life. Oh, you want up? Oh, oh. oh you okay? What, what are those things that we uh, take that are intended to be good gifts from God and in the end make them into idols? So I, would, I just want to encourage you as you uh, go about your daily life, if you go about this week, just consider the things that um, God has given you that are good gifts and ask yourself, are these the things that, um, am I using them to point me to the Lord and have greater faith in him? Or am I using them as uh, things to be worshipped? Am I making them the priority in my life as opposed to the Lord? So that's uh, my devotional thought for the week. Um, this was a little more uh, interrupted than usual, but that's a good thing. It's a good thing to have the kiddos in the picture, right? You say hi? No. No? You don't want to say hi? No. What? Mm. Oh, my Bible. Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to say bye to the people? Bye, Bubba. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Uh, love you. If you need anything, let us know. And then we will see you Sunday. Don't forget to register. Registration will open up this afternoon. And then if you know any men that want to come to men's breakfast, make sure they register. Uh, I'll be giving Carl the list of guys coming uh, at some point later today. So, all right. Love y'all. Stay safe. See ya.